You want to make a realistic render so you downloaded an HDR image but it doesn't look like this right? It probably looks something like this. You just need to rotate and scale and do everything you can to somehow fit the car around and in some angles it's even impossible to fit your car maybe right? So in this video I'm gonna show you how to use HDRIs in the correct way. Rather than floating our car around we will make them sit and look realistic. Let's jump into it. I opened a new file and imported my GT model. Right now we are on the material preview that's why we see all these reflections but if I go to render view as you see we have nothing going on. So here I will hit shift F3 a couple of times until I get to the shader editor and here I'm gonna pick the world. So we don't have anything here. I'm gonna click on shift A texture and environment texture. I will hit open and I'm gonna import my HDR image from today's sponsor Scenebox360. Scenebox360 is a collection of the high resolution CGI backplates and match 360 HDRs. They have many high quality images which can help your rendering process. Also they have Black Friday discounts starting from today until the end of the weekend. So use the code in the description of this video to get 50% off. And thank you Scenebox360 for sponsoring this video. So it is time to pick our HDRI and I'm gonna pick this one. We need to connect this color to background color and let's see what will happen. Okay I guess until here you knew how to do this and the problem is exactly that. When I just rotate my image, even, even if I'm happy with an angle, when I start rotating, everything is messing up. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a sphere to this scene, UV sphere, scale it up, something like that. So our car is inside of this sphere and I'm gonna add a new material to this object, Shift A, Texture and Image Texture. I'm gonna open the same image that I have for the environment. And I'm gonna connect this color to material output. So now if I zoom into this sphere, it looks similar to what we had before. The only difference is now we have a mesh so I can control the geometry itself. So I will go to side view, I will go to edit mode. I will pick the faces, actually the vertices on the x-ray mode to be sure I pick all of them, which are covering the ground. So I will just pick basically all of these to decide where is my horizon line. Actually I want horizon line a little bit here so I will just add an edge loop somewhere like maybe this and then I'm gonna pick all the bottom vertices pick one of them on the up scale Z axis and zero and this one is the active element so it all gets flat on this active element now if I go into my sphere we can see that still not everything is perfect because our car is flying so I will just go again to side view wireframe mode and move the whole sphere up until it intersects a little bit with the wheels so now on the render mode if I go into sphere again as you see we can just rotate the world with the car at the same time because our environment is now a mesh. When I just scale out a little bit it already clips out from the sphere so I wanna scale up the whole sphere a little bit Control A all transforms because now I'm gonna use the node wrangler. I pick this image texture Control T so we have more options here. If you don't know what is it just go to edit preferences add-ons and wrangler you just need to turn on node wrangler add-on. Alright now it looks weird because this center of our image here the asphalt part looks totally different than what is the rest of the image. So I'm gonna connect object to the vector here and on my image rather than flat I will go to sphere. So it more or less fixed what we had before. So now when I rotate everything it's like sitting on the environment. It looks almost like the 3D environment itself. We can always scale it down and scale it up. I'm gonna scale it down a little bit and move it down. Now it looks better to me. But still when I zoom out it just goes out so quickly because compared to the car the environment is maybe too small. So I will just scale up the sphere and again just adjust the ground line same with the car. So now if I want to scale it down I can also scale down the texture itself. So I can pick them all here actually scale it up let's say 3. So when the texture is scaled up it will look smaller on this mesh we have. I start to mess up with here a little bit so you can also change the location of this texture. I can move it on the x-axis for example somewhere like this so now this part is more flat and everything else looks totally fine for me it will be different depending on the HDR of course but so far the main idea is exactly the same you can always manipulate different mesh for different HDRs but this is supposed to work for most of it and when I change the angle it still affects of course because when we go to edit mode as you see this part is projected on the floor actually so you can always like double G here 
and move these edge loops also by hand depending on what you want exactly like depending on which angle you will take your render if it's an animation or not what is the priority you can always manipulate this stuff so there are a couple of things we need to adjust here first of all i'm on the ev mode so i will just add ambient occlusion but as you can see it doesn't have it doesn't create a shadow on the ground and the second thing is the glass material so i will just turn on the screen space reflections and then the refraction box so my material is also now transparent and we need to build somehow a shadow area we need to make this ground a shadow catcher there are multiple ways to create a shadow under the car but i will try to keep it as simple as possible it's not the most accurate but at least it will be simple and quick so i go into edit mode i'm gonna just pick the floor let's say until here or here we can always experiment i just pick the parts that can grab a little bit of shadow and i'm gonna create a new material and assign it so now it's totally different than the surrounding of it but i'm gonna copy this first material into this new slot then i'm gonna hit on this number here to separate it so they're basically the same material but duplicated so when i change the ground it will not affect the rest of the surrounding so here on the materials now i want this principled shader in between this way we have the image texture on the base color of principled and then it goes to material output as you see we can now grab some shadows underneath but it looks too different than the rest so i will just play with the roughness maybe to see what we can do or maybe specular a little bit so to me it looks nice especially if you take a render from depending on the render angle it's not even noticeable like if i take a render from here or a render from this angle it's fine from this angle it might look a little bit awkward by the way before i forgot i actually forgot we need to do one more thing before starting renders and stuff which is matching the light source of our environment and the sphere that we created so if i just hide the sphere as you see the hdr actually hdri is actually on a different angle first of all i also noticed that the number here is mirrored so i will just pick the sphere scale x minus one so after mirroring everything is correct because we are inside of the sphere so it's kind of flipped i can say so now the next thing is matching the environment we have so if i just hide the sphere i can see that it's totally different angle i will just go to world hit ctrl t to create also node wrangler for the environment and i will just rotate on the z axis somewhere like this because i know that this road this direction of the racetrack coming from is the same with the sphere so the light source is also from the similar angle which will be matching perfectly so let's go to camera view i don't have a camera in the scene actually so shift a add a camera ctrl alt zero and look at from the view camera view and let's decide our angle i want to render something like this maybe another very helpful thing is adding depth of field to the camera this way we can have this blurred background and it can merge into our render in a better way so to do that first let's decide our angle let's say something like this i will just add an empty to our scene just move it to the front of the car somewhere like this where i want the focus to be i go to camera view pick my camera check the box depth of field focus on object i pick the empty and then for the f-stop let's say 1.4 very big aperture number so this way you can see the background is more blurred and it will be a bit more realistic and in the render properties of ev i can just increase ambient occlusion a little bit more something like that so the car is sitting better on the floor and the screen space reflections i can just play with it to decide which one i like more and let's take our first render i think it doesn't look bad at all let's see how it looks in cycles okay it takes a little bit of time i just changed to cycles but i'm still waiting when it will respond to this i hope it will work it can be a little bit heavy as i see at least on my laptop it is heavy if you have a powerful pc maybe it's faster i have rtx 3060 gpu so it's not that bad but as i see for cycles it requires a little bit of time maybe all right here we go so let's also take a render on cycles to see how it goes i will just reduce the samples a little bit and hit render all right cycle is also done and i think it also looks quite good and for this area where we have the material division that two different materials to catch the shadow if it's bothering you too much or if you really need to be super precise just let me know on the comments so i can make a bit more advanced tutorial on this topic to use some nodes and gradients to have a better transition on this point for me personally i'm totally fine with it because with a couple of adjustments and different angles you can always hide it and have quite good results also here we have this distortion for example on this angle let's see what we can do i will just go into edit mode to see where it is 
on this intersection maybe we can just double g some of these edge loops and manipulate this area a little bit or we can even just scale it up or scale it down so i think with this type of adjustments we can always make sure that the render will look better it will look as what we want at least still not exactly but you got the point we can just scale it up like this also this one if playing with the mesh and the geometry doesn't help exactly how you want we can always scale the texture maybe so I'm just gonna pick this first material here on our sphere and I will try to maybe scale the z-axis maybe something like that so it has its own angle now then the second material and also do a similar scaling to match these two materials in a better way so let's put the camera here and yeah this can be just another render I will use EV to make it fast and one thing I need to remember is the empty should move also to focus point of our car so if I want to focus here now I can hit the render and I think it looks pretty good and this blurred background as I said it helps to kind of cover this little mistakes or little distortions and stuff so I think it looks quite cool before finishing the video maybe let's just try another HDR like how it would work once we have all these things set up we can just change the HDR and we can do little adjustments maybe let's pick something like a night view this time this is the ground material already changed so I go to my second material actually the first material and rather than opening new I will just pick from here the new one and here we go the thing we need to match now is the HDR itself the environment itself so I go from object to the world and also pick the same HDR from here and it should show on our reflections now, on the reflections now I'm on the material preview so it doesn't change I will go to rendered mode and also this shadow area got super dark here so to reset it easily I will just go to the second material I will just on the slot I will just pick the first one I hit this number here so we have the same material duplicated and now what I want to do is on the object I will put this principal shader in between and it all gets super dark now I think we can add a hue saturation to play with it to match it better still I think it's the faster way so color hue saturation and maybe increase the value a little bit maybe even more okay now I think we are in a good place let's go to edit mode to see maybe changing the texture because I like to do it on edit mode because I know where is flat where is not flat I will first go to the first material here and maybe I will just change the location of x-axis maybe something like that and I will copy this number also for the other material so they will match better now in the object mode I can have again depending on the angle I can have my adjustments for this scene I want to use maybe something like this so we have also our shadow to be sure I want to check I want to hide the sphere to see if they are also now in the same angle and they are with the environment so I think it looks cool I'll just set up my camera somewhere around here and bring the empty close to the center point of the car wherever I want to focus and we can take the render you can always add additional lights to your scene and we will just hit the render so that's it the next step I always do is taking these renders putting them in Photoshop and adjusting the colors a little bit if you have any questions write down on the comments and if you are not confident with blender skills for car design you can check out my online course on my website see you in the next video